Hi dear friends, we are discussing Girish Karnats and Nagamandala. There is a scholar, namely Dr. Amrita Ghosh, who I think uh, published her paper in 2018 entitled Girish Karnats Nagmandala a feminist reading no doubt her approach is feministic one <clears throat> and whatever she has written in her paper is related to feministic approach. She focused some feministic uh, thoughts and uh, incidents related to feminism. In her paper, she tried to focus male and female psyche in the play. As Dr. Karnad tried to explore female characters with search for a completeness within their partners. And at the same time, men fail to understand or agree with females harmonious existence of their body and mind. In other sense, she tried to convey that the contemporary uh, sorry, patriarchal society not tried properly to understand as a female as a human being she also tried to give some references in our ancient culture, tradition, and religion. According to her, this Nagamandala is a universal, timeless place where myth and reality, fact and fiction get first in order to unravel the complex discursive demands of contemporary socio-culture paradigm. Nagamandala is a folk tale transformed into a metaphor of the married woman. As it was, it has a common theme of triangle, love triangle. Actually, not like we saw in movies. It is a Chinese box story with two folktales transformed into one fabric 
were myth of superstition, fact and fantasy, instinct and reason, the particular and the general bend to produce a drama with universal evocations. Nagamandala as Karnad says in his note to the play based on two oral Kannada tales he heard from his mentor friend and well-known poet A.K. Ramanujan. This play is dedicated to A.K. Ramanujan also. In fact, a comparative reading will reveal that as with the plots of much Greek drama, the plot of Nagamandala is a reworking into the dramatic medium of the folk mythologies whose stories Ramanujan retails. Two plots make up Nagamandala. The framing plot of the male playwright and his curse is a retelling of the story that Ramanujan calls a story and a song. While the plot that deals with the story of Rani is based on the serpent lover. Karnad also makes use of myth and folk forms in his plays to exercise socio-cultural evils. You might have learnt or uh, uh, read out the poems of A.K. Ramanujan. You will come to know that his uh, poem, A Story and a Song and The Serpent Lover both poems are based on mythological background. So these are some characteristics of Ramanujan's poetry at the same time Girish Karnad's uh, writing or drama. Girish Karnad also uh, has written another mythical based drama that is Haivadana. The play is about a couple and how the wife Rani failing to win her husband Appanna's affection eventually falls in love with the metamorphosed Naga. There is an evident use of magic realism in the portrayal of character Naga who serves as the emotional and physical resort for Rani when her husband is away out of continuous resentment. The character of Naga is borrowed from the concept of King Cobra of Kannada folklore which can assume human dimensions. Naga has often been interpreted as the manifestation of the repressed urges and the needs of neglected wife. Rani's predicament is about a life lived by fiction and half-truth in Nagamandala. Karnad not only exposes male chauvinism the oppression on women, the great injustice done to them by patriarchal culture and men, but also overtly deflates the concept of chastity that undergirds the patriarchal mythic imagination across religion, language and folk texts. So this is the kind of a drama that 
especially reveals the suppression humiliation and uh, restrictions on female character it is also the representation of the society the contemporary society and the situation of women in that society how women were suppressed humiliated abused criticized bothered and restricted all these things are skillfully explored by girish karnad in the drama dr amrita ghosh also pointed out the same things in her paper published in 2018 related to nagamandala but her approach is feministic one she pointed out some important aspects of the drama through feministic point of view we also tried to uh, learn this feministic approach not only in this video but previous videos so this is the brief uh, important uh, reference of dr amrita ghosh for your better understanding of nagamandala rani who was gradually losing their identity as well as their subjectivity being turned into the object of patriarchal desire start to regain their lost identity when she steps out of her home rani herself tried to fight against the established situations of the society established norms of the society against the oppressed male dominated culture here karnat tries to suggest in nagamandala like the agency in women's tales in general is intimately connected with their being able to control their body at their own pleasure and to tell their own stories from their point of view here through her extra marital affairs by regaining the power to control their body at her own pleasure it means that in all, in other words that woman should use her body for her own pleasure it should not be used by any other person without her will so this feministic approach feministic point of view attitude is elaborated in the particular paper so that you can understand feminism and feministic attitude approach feministic way of thinking from rani's point of view what rani thinks is important than what apanna thinks about rani what panchayat tries to blame her 
and how she defeated not only panchayat established the rules and regulations of the society and apanna but also she developed a confidence within herself to face such operations and obligations thank you very much